Ladies and gentlemen, today's chair umpire, Pascual Maria. The first men's singles final at the championships for Pascal Maria of France. And he had to maintain his concentration, no doubt. A long match, and well played to him. Tears of sorrow last year, different tears this year. And now the championships referee, Andrew Jarrett. He won't be unhappy to see the match end this evening, Andy Jarrett, no doubt. Ladies and gentlemen, to the runner-up, <coughs> Roger Federer. So no six in a row for Roger Federer, but what an effort. Borg lost to a left-hander when he was going for six in a row. He lost to McEnroe. Federer losing to Rafael Nadal. And the Wimbledon Gentlemen's Singles Champion for 2008, Rafael Nadal. the first man from his country to win this Roger, championship. I know this must be so difficult for you, but you must know how popular and what a great champion you are to the people here. They'd like to hear. They'd like to hear your thoughts on the match because you played such a part in such a wonderful final. Yeah, tried everything. <laughs> Got a little late and everything, but look, uh, Rafa is a deserving champ and he just played fantastically. And I guess it was just the emotion of it all and all the drama, all the rain delays. It, uh, you had so much to put up with today. Yeah, it didn't make it easier, but uh, you got to expect the worst. And uh, it's the worst opponent on the best court, but... Uh, <laughs> No, but uh, it's, it's been a joy again to play here and uh, I feel I couldn't win it under the circumstances, but uh, I'll be back next year and uh, I can say well. That's all we wanted to hear. It's fantastic, Roger. I know it's difficult. Thank you. Roger Federer. Hi, Rafa. Wow. Can you describe what you felt when you just fell to the floor when you knew that you were the Wimbledon champion? Well, it's impossible <laughs> to, to explain what, what I felt in that moment. No? Uh, so just very, very happy for, for winning this title. My favorite tournament for me is a dream, playing this court, but win, I never imagined something like this. So very happy. Thank you very much, everybody. You really won it the hard way, didn't you? I mean, how did you get yourself back having lost the championship points to keep yourself so mentally strong? Well, there's a point for me, I am in the same, in the same time like the best player of the history, Roger Federer. So it's very tough always play against him, especially here. I have a lot of chances for win before the match, but just congratulate Roger because he always fight unbelievable. His attitude always is excellent when he win, when he lose. So just... Thank you very much, Roger. His attitude is very good for the tennis. And the fact that you beat Roger here on centre court in arguably one of the greatest finals we've ever seen, does that make this even more special? Well, for sure, uh, 
uh, you know, when Roger he after five years, I lost the last two finals, close finals, but he's still the number one, <laughs> he's still the best, he's still five times champions here, and right now I have one, so for me it's very, very, very important that. <laughs> And I know the first thing you wanted to do was to run up to see your father and your uncle Tony that's been uh, your coach and such a support to you. What did they say to you up there? Just thank you very much for, uh, <laughs> for his support, for their support all the time coming with me, my uncle, my family. The rest of the family are there, so just Carlos Costa, Angel Luis Cotorro, Filete Barbadillo. So all the, all, everybody, thank you very much. No? I think it's the first time we've seen anyone go to the Royal Box. Anyway, big celebration planned? No big celebration. No, I forgot one thing. Just thank you very much, the Prince and Princess, for coming to watch my final today. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Enjoy the moment. It was a fantastic final. Ladies and gentlemen, the new Wimbledon champion, Rafael Nadal. And now, having shared this contest together, they now share the limelight, and rightly so. There's two champions there, no six in a row for Roger Federer, but the first French Open Wimbledon double since Bjorn Borg in 1980 for Rafael Nadal, the fifth Grand Slam singles title. And one wonders what Nadal can actually go on and achieve in the game. If he wins on the hard courts at the US Open at the end of the summer, we may have to rethink tennis history he's playing that sort of tennis at the moment and he, he always does this just i think just to make sure that it really is gold and i can assure him that it is